Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play for Frog the Bell Tolls. In the last part we started our third trek through the castle, I believe. And now we're going to continue on and see where else we can go. You can talk to that snake as well, a snake, obviously, but all he tells you is pretty much a hint towards this little puzzle here. But position the blocks like that and jump up to the left and you'll be able to make it no problem. Hey, look, potabos. <laughs> It's sad that I'm probably one of the, like three people that I know that actually knows the fireballs in Mario are called. Yeah, that the Mar fireballs in Mario are called potabos. Not many people I know know that for some reason. But not many YouTubers too. Hmm. Anyway, that was me thinking about using the wine, but I realized no, there's a wonder ball right there. So yeah. And, good, and uh, this section right here can be kind of finicky at times, because for some reason, my, well, at least with me, my emulator sometimes has problems with the uh, buttons, but that's just me. And hi, cat! My kitten just walked in. Aw, so cute. Come here, baby. Yeah! And now I'm healed. <laughs> now this can be kind of tricky as well. If you don't make that jump, you can end up dying very easily, and you'd have to backtrack all the way here, which isn't fun in any way. Turn to a snake and talk to this guy, and then immediately turn back into a prince and stab him in the back, or in the face in my case. I do believe that if you in interact with snakes while you're a frog, you do pretty much get into a uh, no-win situation battle. But that's just from what I remember. Why is the sound not playing? That was weird. That happens in my recordings for some reason. I don't know why. It's only Camtasia's recording that does that, as far as I know. And that's pretty much. And that was uh, that. These frogs are really telling us that there's a much more powerful sword in the armory. We're going to need more than our bronze sword to defeat the soldiers ahead, so we're going to need to find another one. By the way, I love how these things are have moving jaws in the bottom right, but they are still dead, so how does that even work? They don't have any muscle or connective tissue to do that with. But that's just me being a logic guy. One thing, you're gonna, one, eh, one thing you're going to notice is that I uh, do not know my way around this castle as well as I should. And that's mostly just because this is only my third playthrough, and this place still confuses me from time to time. You know, and it's somewhat eerie music. Anyway, turn to a snake here, and freeze, or bite this enemy, rather. Go into the water, and change into a frog, and then you can progress on. If you go down that little hole you'll end up in a circle with a pyramid of frogs and an egg in case you need to turn in, in case you don't have one to turn into a snake here. And there'll be fish in that route. Do not fight the fish. They are hard. And it ends up in this exact room. In fact, you can see the fish I'm mentioning right now. Screw those guys royally. I hate them. We threw those uppity villages in the dungeon. I'm sure to get a Christmas bonus this year. Soon they'll all be put to death. By the way, did you hear the rumor? I did. We finally captured the princess. I'm busy rescuing the villagers. Princess, please hold on. Oh, great, this section. I forgot what I was saying before. Anyway, for this section, you have to duck down into these corridors, and you'll have one of these rooms after every single one of these doors. I'm cutting these little sections out from here on. But know that there is one of those rooms in every single one of those little passageways. Those fish remind me of, like, very evil-looking cheap chiefs from Mario. And we don't have to stand up here, but it, this is the easily the safest way if you're trying to remember where you're go trying to go in these rooms to stand. Head on to the right. You don't have to do this, but I recommend jump. Whoa, that was close. And the enemy pushed me into the other screen, huh? Odd. Up here we got a hot springs egg. Useful if you don't have many of them. I still have around 28 or 29 of them, so I'm good for now. I might actually be good for the, for the rest of the game, actually. 
but I'm not sure. And here's the real big section with this. You have to go through... Uh, many of these doors, like I said before, have these little sections of, after them. I'm editing these out, so I'll duck and exit through the, through the original entrance. Got a joint fruit from the middle one. Yeah, I believe you have to go through the upper one to progress. Yep. And now each one of these has something in it. The bottom one results in a hot springs egg. The middle, or no, the top in a joy fruit, I believe. No, wine, actually. Oh, that's what happened. I... Because I have another bottle, I forgot that I actually filled it with wine from there. <laughs> uh, and middle leads to the exit. More smiley platforms of doom and destruction. Yay. Ow. These ghosts remind me of something, but I'm not sure what. Is it... Does it remind me of the... Ghost enemies from the Game Boy Color Zelda? It's possibly. Uh, uh, I didn't think about that. It's probably something from Mario Land 2, knowing my luck. Anyway, do not go through that door yet. Turn to a prince and push down this door. Or this block, rather. And welcome to the armory. This place can be kind of tricky. There's always six chests in here, one of them has the bronze sword. The other five are all mimics. And these things will respawn if you exit or re-enter. However, finding them at this strength will always net you two hearts of damage. I believe you get 50 nuts from the first one, but the others always have mimics. And the, the sword's location is memorized, too, so watch out for that. Because that place can be kind of tricky. Anyway, after you get the sword, heal... Head up this way, you'll get a life stone. No, joy fruit, actually, rather. Eh. You'll get a joy fruit, and I recommend you use it immediately because we actually have a boss coming up here. Uh, I believe this thing's just called the Black Armor Knight? I can't remember, actually. What do you want? We want to enter. Prince Kyle, fine, we'll settle this like men. This guy, if you have my stats, is literally no problem to the automatic battle system. However, you'll always end off with one heart at this point. And we defeated the dungeon guard and got the heart key, so now we can open up more places in the dungeon. Or, well, we can open up the dungeon and more places in the castle. Oh, Prince Kyle, you've come to rescue us. You're all safe now. Is there someone among you who knows where the gold mine is? I do. I'll mark the spot on your map. From Spring Hill, go past the glacier, through the ice cavern, and the mine is right on top of... Mount Pudding! He marked our map. Okay, so let's see. That's where the mine is, and we're in the castle right where that red arrow is. We have some traveling to do. Ugh. With that much, I can bend 10 million bell towers. Jinbi will be pleased. I completely forgot to read that info blur, but there's like 10 million things of gold in there. I'm really distracted this session for some reason. I don't know why. Sorry about that, guys. And it takes us automatically out of here. So I'll meet you guys over back in Spring Hill, because this place is annoying to get back to. Anyway, now that we're done with that, let's head on down here and talk to the cellar man. You save a pal? Please, step into my cella. And down here, I believe we got a Power Stone. Yep, and it's sadly not an awesome Dreamcast game. I have to get myself a Dreamcast one of these days. They're kind of hard to find. Also, just for just in case for later, mow down all the trees down here. Because, you can, like, just to be honest, you're going you're gonna to want to do this for later on, because it's kind of annoying to do so otherwise. And plus, this also gives you a frame of reference to where I'm returning later. I'm developing a new type of wine. My new wine should be ready soon. So keep in mind this wine cellar for later is what I'm going to call it. Because I will be cutting back to here at some point. You can't see me, but I'm dancing to the music. <laughs> what a perfectly inconvenient rock. The wristband's too weak to move that. I'd better go back to Spring Hill and come up with, with yeah, come up with a plan. Why can't I speak today? That is very strange. Anyway, here in Spring Hill, you're gonna want to go actually straight up into the left to this harbor here. Hi, Jinbi. Oh, Prince Kyle, is something troubling you? 
Um, giant boulder is blocking the road. Oh, that is bad. The wristband I have is too weak to move it. Well, let's see. This is a Nintendo product. This one is old. I'm sure they've made a new little model. Really? Nintendo is on Brown Sugar Island. Take my ship and go. I'll wait for you to bring gold. I'm giving a Japanese man an Indian accent and it's just really weird. But I don't care because I honestly can't do accents for the life of me. Unless it's, unless it's some sort of Scottish or British accent, that's just because that's what I am. Anyway, the boat's path is fairly obvious. So head up on up here to this pier, pier. And welcome to Brown Sugar Island. And welcome to Nintendo headquarters. Oh, Nintendo, you love advertising yourself, don't you? And in the shop, we have some joy and fruit and wine, a new shield that I will be buying now. You're gonna want 400 nuts at this point, by the way. And a weird wasabi thing on the right that we can't use just yet. Or even buy just yet, I believe, at this point. And we got an iron shield. And this is me thinking I didn't have two things of wine, but I did because of the one I got in the castle. I completely forgot about that at this point. Anyway, this is me trying to remember where I have to go now. I actually have to do a go into the cafeteria right above us. So let's talk to the lady on the left. We need to purchase a meal ticket. You're gonna want... The, they have udon Korean sushi. You're gonna want to say no to the udon, unlike what I do right here. Don't say yes to this. This is taking much far too long, and I said yes to it. You're gonna want to say no to the udon, no to the curry, and buy the sushi. Because otherwise, you're not gonna be able to progress. Talk to the chef up here, who kinda looks like Mario, actually. And sit in the empty, si empty seat next to the bald guy. This is great. You got the sushi, too. I like you already. So, do you think it tastes good? Yeah. 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 Well, no, not really. No way, I guess you know your sushi. So then, why do you think it's bad? The taste is, uh... Spoken like a true gourmet. You know what we need? Wasabi! Some wasabi would be perfect. If it doesn't tickle my nose just right, then the sushi isn't worth it. Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, actually. Really? So let me ask you a favor. I'm Dr. Ivan Nitt, head in R&D. I love wasabi more than anything. The jungle to the north has a great wasabi field, but the Krokians are holding it for themselves. Bring me some wasabi and I'll let you have anything you want. I'd like an arm that can move huge boulders, please. I've got just the item for the job. If you want my help, bring me some wasabi. And we got a new... Uh, objective at this point. We have to venture around Brown Sugar Island to find some wasabi. But that's gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on for Frog to Belt Holes, we'll just, we'll do just that. See you guys then. I seriously need to think of a new outro. Dear Lord says and madams.